Again, bounding away is her name. She deserves a change of luck, and that might sound silly because she's won a million dollars, but she has run three consecutive seconds. Tommy Smith's of the opinion that she's absolutely screaming for 1,600 metres at this stage of her preparation, so we'll soon see what sort of a judge Tommy Smith is. Ray Hadley, no doubt there'll be a big splash of red on your board for bounding away. Six to four on, in fact, Tappy. Six to four on the top one, bounding away. Same in the ring. Diamond Shower, 15 to two. Evandale Star at 12 to one. La Cadeau at 12s. Parlour at 60. Blazing Fontaine, 80s. Glory Days at 30s. Ardrenette, 7. It's pretty well back, too, at longer odds. Call Me Biddy, 50s. Trump Day, 66 to one. High Resolution at 200s. Round the World at 40s. Devise at 20s. Now, for Nezabel, unfortunately, uh, John, we have a malfunctioning knob here, but it should be 100 to one. And just as lovely is also at 100 to one. All the rage, the favourite. And top weight, bounding away, 6 to 4 on. OK, Ray, well, now, here's something rather interesting over here. Bounding away is rideless at the moment. Mick Dittman down on the ground. This filly looks a little bit sour today. She's, uh, they've attached a rearing bit uh, to try and lead her forward into the gates, and she moves up now, but not before uh, putting on a little bit of a cantankerous turn there for a minute or two, bounding away. I can't recall uh, having seen her react that way before. Still, there's an old adage that most good race fillies are a little on the sour side. In fact, some of the old timers say if they're not sour, they're no good. So we'll soon see, bounding away uh, moves up now and the flight stake's about to get underway. It's worth $150,000. And as Ian Chappell said, named after the great flight, a mighty filly of the 1940s who won many top races, including two WS Cox plates. Call me Biddy, an interesting runner. Off and running now in the flight stakes. A pretty good start. Round the world and devise a little bit slow to begin and bouncing out in front is Parlour. Glory Days and Evandale Star quickly into stride. High resolution, ridden a bit in the early part, looking for the lead. And then Trump Dace and not far away when they settle down, bounding away. Who's about midfield? On the fence, Call Me Biddy, followed by Just As Lovely and Adronette and out deep as Blazing Fontaine. Further back, Diamond Shower, followed by La Cadeau. Round the world, Fineza Bell and Devise back at the the tail as they go to the first turn parlor is the leader about a half length to high resolution two lengths away third trump days a length evandale star a length bounding away in a beautiful spot and then glory days and blazing fontaine followed by just as lovely call me biddy diamond shower ardrenette is a fair way back with la cadeau as they go to the 800 mark from round the world devise second last and finette Bella's last and this field is well spread out parlor is the leader as they near the 600 mark over high resolution two lengths away third trump day and then Evandale Star bounding away, Blazing Fontaine three deep. Further back, Glory Days, Diamond Shower being niggled hard by Tiley as they turn for home and then round the world and Ardrenette, but they've straightened in the flight stakes and Parlour is the leader. Evandale Star getting to second. Here she comes, bounding away, is cruising up to them on the outside and Dittman said go as they got to the top of the rise. Bounding away, hit the front, but not by far. Evandale Star is hanging on gamely. Bounding away and Evandale Star together with 100 left to go. Dittman's got to pull out all stops on bounding away and here comes Diamond Shower bounding away won't give up though her fighting heart will get her there I think yes yeah, she fell in to win bounding away at last got revenge on Diamond Shower bounding away by a head to the fast finishing Diamond Shower there's nothing between those two fillies Evandale Star is third Ardrenette fourth followed by La Cadeau Glory Days Blazing Fontaine round the world then Trump Dace and High Resolution Parlour Call Me Biddy and Devise Finetza Bell and last of all Just As Lovely Oh, gee, she cut it fine, but she got there. Bounding away, Mick Dittman has won by about a head over Diamond Shower, who finished like a locomotive in the last 70 or 80 metres. And at last, uh, sweet revenge for bounding away, because Diamond Shower's been a real thorn in her side. Oh, what a big run, Evandale Star. Do you think that filly hasn't improved in the last month? Let's have a look at this replay from a... A rather acute angle, Mick Dittman's getting worried here. In fact, he's breaking out in carbuncles. He knows uh, Evandale Star's kicking on and he knows there's one coming on the outside and I'll bet he guessed which one it was too. Go, Mickey. Uh, Dittman hard at work on bounding away and the little grey champion poked out that neck and head and has won by about a long head over her old foe. Diamond shower with Evandale Star third, bounding away to pay 85 and 65 on the New South Wales TAB. Radio, the last of the day, the Craven Plate. We'll see you for that at 5.15. What's Ken think of it? He likes TAB number 12, Il Commandante, a New Zealand horse who's been in Sydney about six weeks, was brought over by Arthur Didham, 
but I hear tell that Bart Cummings is very keen to buy the horse for one of his clients. Again, uh, we look at the closing stages of the flight stakes. Bounding away, can't shake off Evandale Star. Uh, that filly just won't give up. And it's bounding away an Evandale Star. Bounding away is just in front. Now Diamond Shower goes after them. And she pulls nearly a length off bounding away in the last 50 or 60 metres. Further out on the track in the white colours is Ardrenet, followed by Blazing Fontaine. Look at Diamond Shower go home. She's a skinny, plain-looking little thing, Diamond Shower, but she sure can gallop. However, she just couldn't pick up uh, bounding away. And there they go to the line in the $150,000 flight stakes. Listen to this ovation as Mick Dittman brings the champion filly back to scale. Winner of well over a million dollars, being led back by Gay Waterhouse. Gay, of course, will one day be given bounding away as a gift from her dad as a broodmare of the future. OK, the last at 5.15 on Wide World of Sports.